Lincoln Raider basketball on WLCN 96.3 FM and streaming live on WLCNonline.com is brought to you by Shelter Insurance Agent Corey Leonard, AAA Window Siding and Doors, The Carpet House, Town and Country Bank, Lincoln IGA, Fifth Street Food Mart, Jason Schmidt at Channel Seeds, Friendship Manor, Rick Ham State Farm Insurance, Lincoln Heating and Cooling, Lincoln Printers, Memorial Sports Care at Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital, Lincoln College, Realtor Nancy Cunningham at Brady Realtors, Stacy Family Pharmacy, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, Drow Incorporated, Schneider Chiropractic, Lincoln Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Christine Short, St. Clara's Manor, Eaton Corporation, Jim Examus Ford Lincoln, Bright Ideas Screen Printing and Embroidery, Headline Salon LLC, and by Family Custom Cleaners Laundry Tanning and U-Haul. Times. Railers in their home white uniforms with red lettering trimmed in green, green numerals trimmed in red. MacArthur in the road black uniforms with uh, blue lettering and numerals trimmed in white and the blue and white uh, piping up the side of their uniform. We're ready to go. Opening tip controlled by the Railers. Doesn't Isaiah, happen very often this year. Isaiah Bowers as they try a three quickly from KJ Fry in the corner. That's no good. Isaiah Bowers was able to sneak in and steal the tip as it was won by MacArthur. But uh, KJ Fry shot from the far corner misses. And MacArthur with their first possession here on a Friday night. We certainly thank you for joining us here in Lincoln. McLean, top of the key, tries to kick it down, but it's... Uh, Mishandled by uh, Kieran Cook. Well, and, and fortunately it was mishandled because uh, McLean made a nice pass down to, down to Cook and, and he couldn't handle it. It was going to be two points or a dunk if we didn't get, uh, if that ball didn't go out of bounds and off his hand. So uh, the Railers got away with one there. And again, that's one of the things, Josh, that kept the Railers in the game uh, down indicator as Isaiah mishandles the pass and then he went to try and save it, stepped on the sideline. And you've talked about this uh, for several <laughs> games now. How many guys step on the sidelines, and it, it's you know you can see it not happening or happening when you're not on when you're not at home. But the Railers here at home, and the, and Isaiah not uh, not figuring out where the sideline is, and the Railers with an unforced turnover steps on the sideline. Kimonte Johnson drives in, kicks it over to McLean on the right side, rises up for three. That's off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound down to Brummett. Brummett in the lane, little floater is good. Yeah, if you're going to give them second opportunities, uh, be a long night for the Raiders. They're really good on the offensive boards, and, you, and when you get McLean to miss, you definitely have to rebound it. Hop goes straight to the basket, kicks it back out to Isaiah. Corner three on the way is good. Good job by Hop. Hop goes for the basket, and with all that size and athleticism underneath for MacArthur, he did a good job of passing out Isaiah. Set the feet, got it thrown behind the three-point line, was able to get it to go. Left side, Cooks three, missed it badly. Rebound is picked up by DJ Smith for the rebound basket, up and good. Again, another offensive rebound for MacArthur, and uh, we've talked about the extra opportunities that they, that you give them, and, and you do, they're going to score underneath. Grunder got it over to Hop and uh, couldn't handle it. Tried to lead him a little bit too far. And so the turnover gives it back to the Generals. And uh, Josh, uh, early on, that's one of the things that the, the Railers just can't get themselves in an early hole by giving up too many offensive rebounds and unforced errors. Well, you're right. A couple of turnovers for, uh, for the Railers, and a lot of that is done because of MacArthur's speed and athleticism out on the perimeter. We've struggled against teams that pressure the basketball, and uh, MacArthur's doing a little bit more of that tonight. MacArthur helps us out with another turnover. Isaiah, top of the key, he, he, banks, bank. he banks it in. They're open tonight. Open late on a Friday. The bank was open, and Bowers from the top of the key used all of it. And Isaiah with the uh, two quick threes. 5.36 to go, 6-4, long three. Grunder for the rebound, tracks it down in the corner. 
Gets it now to Isaiah who crosses the timeline. Goes right by his defender. Kicks it out to Garrett in the corner. Three on the way. He spun off. Yeah, great look too by Bowers. He got right in the lane and almost threw it behind him almost and got it to Isles who uh, couldn't get the three to go, but the perfect look for for uh, Isaiah, or for uh, Isles. Brummett pulls up from 17. That's no good. Fight for the rebound and Bowers comes out with it for the Railers. Six for the Railer advantage. Five minutes to go. Isaiah hesitate back out to KJ top Eyes of the open. key he fires he got and hits. nice extra pass by Isles fly wide open at the top of the key and the Raiders start out nice tonight Jeff uh, two from Bowers from three and now one from Fry would give nine points for the Raiders 450 to go pass inside tipped away by Bowers into the hands of Garrett Isles Garrett will curl back around get it to Hop as he crosses the timeline Raiders up 9-4 Hop hands to Isles back over in the far side to Fry Runder down in the corner. Working around to Isles. Now Hop. Bowers, can he hit another one? He got yes, it. He can. Another one from the corner from deep in the corner, too, with a defender on him. So Bowers feeling that the sophomore with three threes early here tonight. Nice pass inside, but Cook misses the easy one. That's going to be no good. And then Cook going for the offensive rebound. Good job boxing out. I didn't catch who it was, Josh. Josh, but uh, again, the rebounding, uh, the Railers box out, force the ball. Yeah, good job, although they got another opportunity uh, they, they, where they should have made it probably. More times than not, MacArthur's going to put that first one back in, and again, the Railers have got to be aggressive on the boards. we got to have five uh, white jerseys going after it. Approaching the halfway point of quarter number one, and the Railers are uh, finding lots of success from the, behind the three-point line. Here's a guy who's hit three. Make it for Isaiah Bowers. Isaiah already with 12. And the Railers are up 15-4. Isaiah with a steal. Isaiah on the far side pulls it back out. Hit AJ it. on the way. Got yes. it. Five for three from Bowers and a great start from the Railers. It's raining threes here at Y.S. Anderson. A 30-second timeout taken by MacArthur. We will keep it here. Of course, that gives us time to thank Brown Incorporated, Headline Salon LLC, and Christine Short, your Edward Jones financial advisor. And uh, right now, Josh, I think anything that you would want to do, you'd want to do it in threes because everything's falling for three. All six field goals for the Railers, three-pointing. Not sure you could have asked for a better start as far as uh, shooting the ball from the perimeter. 18 points so far for the Railers, all on threes. And they've been, uh, you know, open threes. Bowers with four, as you said, Jeff, and now Fry with a couple. And uh, we, we've got them in transition. We've got them in half court. That time, Bowers, everybody, uh, Bowers got the steal. Everybody kind of went to him because he's been on fire. And then uh, he kicks it back to Fry. Really, you had Isles here with a wide open one. And, and uh, probably 50% of the time, he hits that one. And you know, the nice thing is, like you talked about, Josh, none of the threes, even the ones they've missed, have seen force. They've right. all been right in the, in the offense. Yeah, and, again, and so far the defense has been good for the Railers, too. Three on the way. That's up and good. And that is Armand Brummett. 18-7, to go. High post to Hop. Hop turns down the lane. Gets his defender. Oh, they try to get it out to Bowers, but it's tipped away by Johnson. Johnson flips it ahead. Off the glass, won't go down. But they'll go to the line, and they will be shooting two. And uh, they got down there quick. Yeah, they're fast. And then they get out on the break, and they want to run. They can really run. And that time, Hop got it right, I thought, where he wanted to, right at the free throw line. He was one-on-one -on -one with his guy and couldn't get it. Couldn't get, by, couldn't get by him and uh, tried to kick it out to Bowers in the corner and Kamate Johnson got those long arms on the basketball. And once they get a tip away with, with any kind of advantage, uh, they're going to be racing to the other end. Amir Brummett, the 6'2 sophomore, hits the first. 3.03 to go. 18-8, Railers up. Make it 18-9 as he makes them both. And so, you know, if you're Coach Ron Ingram from MacArthur, you know, you call that timeout and say, okay, they can't keep shooting like this all night. We just have to hang in there. Right, yeah, and that's probably what they said. They've they got to weather that, that early storm that the Railers put on them. KJ from 15, no good. Bounced it off the back of the rim. Rebound to Brummett for the Generals. Into the front court, 2.45 to go. First quarter of action. Railers on the strength of six three-pointers have an 18-9 advantage. 
Grummet, another three, shot it up long, goes over the top of the backboard, and they're going to whistle that one uh, dead ball, and it's going to go to the Railers. At first, it didn't look like they were going to signal that, but uh, the far side official makes that call. 2.35 to go, Railers the basketball. Looking ahead quickly, nobody gets back defensively for MacArthur nice. as Hoff lays it up and in. Yeah, good job of Hoff getting the basketball, good job of Bowers keeping his head up. Going down the floor is a nice baseball pass, a long, long outlet pass by Bowers to Hoff, and Hoff is wide open. Dump it down underneath, going up off the glass, it's good. Count it, he's fouled, that's Kimonte Johnson. Yeah, too easy there with MacArthur gives up the easy basket on uh, one end for us, and then we give up an easy basket for Kimonte Johnson. Uh, with basically all he had to do is take one power dribble and get to the basket. And uh, there's sometimes, Jeff, where you just don't contest it. You just get, let him give the easy basket. And Hop compounded that with not only uh, giving him an easy basket, but then fouling him. So Hop gets a foul, plus uh, Camonte Johnson gets the free throw. Johnson makes the free throw. 2.15 to go. Railers up 20-12. Hop into the front court. We've got a foul out high. That is going to go against Khalil Brummett. His first team second. 2.10 to go. Isles brings a dribble on the right side over to Bowers on the wing. Back on top now to Hop. Bring it over to Bryson Kirby. Bryson in the lineup for the first time. Underneath, Hop with the reverse layup is good. Yeah, Hop, he can get around that baseline. He's one of the better better guys we've seen in a while, Jeff, uh, for the Railers to work around that baseline. Hop just uh, caught it at the uh, behind the three-point line. What we call it, it's just sweep and go, and he swept it got, it, got through the defense, and was able to do a nice reverse layup for Hop. 22-12, Railers back up by 10. Turning with the lefty, that is Kimonte Johnson. 22-14, minute 31 to go. Checking in for MacArthur. Randy Thaxton, a 5-10 junior. Minute and a half left in the first quarter. Thanks for joining us here from Roy S. Anderson. Isles just lost the dribble in the backcourt. Goes to Thaxton off the glass and it rolls good. Yeah, that's an unforced. Garrett, uh, not pressured. The senior's got to be able to handle the basketball, and that time he just slightly kicks it off his foot, and MacArthur grabs it and goes in for two. So another unforced error for the Railers. Bowers down the lane. It opens. He floats. It's good. Nice job by Isaiah. Keep attacking. Now they've – MacArthur knows he can hit the uh, shot from the perimeter, and now he takes it right down the middle of the lane for an easy two. So good job uh, – by the Railers and by Isaiah to get an easy one back. But back to 24-18 now as Kimonte Johnson gets it. He has seven already. This is a high score in first quarter, Jeff. We don't see 24 until usually halftime. 45 seconds to go, 24-18. The Railers jumped out to an 18-4 lead. That lead's now been cut to six. Hop holds on the right side to Bowers. Bowers already with 14 in the game. Back on top to Isles, 30 seconds. Looks like Railers hold for one. Grunder. Over to Hop. Hop gets it over to Bowers, 15 seconds. Railers up six. Bowers bounces out to Isles, down to 10. Garrett looking. Down low, open all by himself is yeah. Grunder. Yeah, nice pick by Grunder. It's almost like a fake pick. And um, Camonte Johnson misses the long one, but almost a slip screen, and they found uh, Grunder wide open on the, underneath. Good job by uh, by Isles of keeping his head up. Into the first quarter, Railers up 26-18. Back with a second in a moment. Listening to Lincoln Railer basketball. Start of the second quarter, MacArthur with the basketball. Railers on top, 26-18. Yeah, this is more like a halftime score between these two teams, but uh, Railers doing the job offensively. A three on the way. That is up and good from Amir Brummett. Yeah, that, and we were pretty well contested on that shot, and he was able to get it off clean. 
Try to kick it over to Bryson Kirby. Bryson couldn't hang on to it. And again, Railers doing what they can to uh, keep MacArthur in this one. Another turnover by the Railers. MacArthur found themselves down by as much as 14. Now down just five, 26-21. Thaxton's three from the corner, up and good. And they can score in a hurry too, Jeff. The Railers uh, just not moving on defense. And that time another open three in the corner. And uh, the Railers have got to move and cover shooters. Hop drives into Grunder down on the baseline. Then back on top now to Isaiah. Isaiah back out to Grunder. Grunder's going to drive in. Now curls back out. Hands out to Bryson near the timeline. Seven minutes to go, first half. Railers up to 26-24. Runner's gonna drive to the lane. Mishandled a little bit, tried to kick it over to Bowers and McLean steps in front for the interception. Ahead to Brummett, lays it off the glass, but he missed it. Rebound down to Isles. Now the Railers take to push it. Over on the right side, Grunder, back out to Isles. Back to Ben, Grunder corner three. Is Got good. it. Out of boy, Ben. He gave it back uh, to Isles. Isles gave it back to Ben, and Ben was wide open in the corner, and Isles said, boy, you got to shoot that. And he did. Uh, nice three for Grunder on a big basket there. Uh, the General's on a big run. 29-24, under six and a half to go. Railers with the lead. Next and down the lane, kicks back out. Grummett's three, in and out. Right for the rebound. I think Isaiah tipped it last. Yeah. And they're going to say, I'll take it. Last touch by MacArthur, so we will definitely take it. Also want to remind you that Lincoln College, Jason Schmidt at Channel Seeds and Fifth Street Food Mart bringing you this contest on WLCN 96.3 FM. WLCNonline.com. You can also catch the broadcast as well as watch the video. Railers here with six minutes to go. Grunder with a nice move out high. Kicks back out to Fry. Not a hop. Hop just hanging on to it as Brummett comes out on him. Grunder near the timeline. With the dribble, hands back to KJ. KJ had it swatted away from behind. Bounced off the official and went right back to MacArthur. Pull up jumper on the way. In and out, no good again. Yeah, it should have been a foul called anyways. Hop, up to Isaiah. Isaiah stops, four, three, missed it. Rebound down to MacArthur. Kimonte Johnson down the left sideline. Quick pass out to Thaxton. Grummet drives baseline back to Johnson on the block. Throws it up, won't go down, but I think he's going to the line shooting two. And, uh, you know, whether you're a Lincoln fan or a non or a MacArthur fan, or you're just enjoying a good basketball game, uh, Kimonte Johnson's a nice player. He is, you know, he's yeah, it's just silky smooth. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't look like he's playing real hard, but he's, he's just one of those guys that uh, gets the job done. He's, he's always around the ball, just like his teammates look to, to get him the basketball. And, and he's tough to stop. He can jump. He's got long arms. And, and again, it's always tough to stop that left-handed guy because you just don't see it very often. And uh, of course, the Railers, uh, the only you know, the left-handed they got to Isles, and you know, you just it's hard to uh, hard to defend when you don't normally see that guy. And uh, he does a good job of using his body. Johnson makes the first second one on the way. Hits it off the front of the rim. No good. Isaiah the rebound. 29-25. Railers with a four-point lead. Basketball as they cross the timeline with Hop. Scoring has slowed a little bit here after a really hectic first quarter pace. Which I think that's good for the Railers. You know, yes. we're not in that. We don't have those guys that can do that kind of scoring um, that, that was going on in the, in the uh, first quarter. Top with a nice move, kicks it over in the corner. Bounced off one Railer, hit Isaiah, bounced off him. So it goes back now to MacArthur. And I think there was a spacing issue because, Josh, you normally don't see a situation where you've got Bryson standing two feet from uh, Isaiah. Well, the far and side. I think they had a clear out for a hop on this side uh, with trying to get around this guy. But Camonte Johnson did a good job. And when the, re uh, the officials are going to let MacArthur use their hands to uh, to stop our drives, then then they're going to have a, uh, the Railers going to have a tough time getting by anybody. Brummett with a long three. That one's Armand Brummett. And MacArthur, once down 14, they've climbed to within just one. 29-28, Railers, four and a half to go. In the first half, Grunder dribbles through traffic, hands off to Fry. Fry near the near sideline. Back to Bowers. Isaiah at the elbow, back out now to KJ. Grunder, top of the key. 
Shot fake. Drives it over to Bryson. To KJ. Corner three. Back rim. No, but Grender grabs the rebound. Gets it back out to KJ. KJ will pull up from 17, and this one is good. Yeah, good job by Grunder keeping the play alive. And we talked about the Railers can't give extra opportunities to MacArthur. That time the Railers get one themselves on a nice active play by the sophomore Grunder. Keep that play alive. Fry ends up with the jumper. 31-28, high post to Johnson. Gets it underneath to Williams, who lays it up yeah, and in. Just too easy. Too easy underneath. And... The, the passing is coming from the free throw line right down to the block, and, and we've got to have a guy there. That There's no way that pass should get there against our 1-2-2 zone. 31-30, three and a half minutes to go. Hop gets by his defender, thought about the three, didn't take it. Grunder, quickly move it. KJ, that's a little past the line, missed it. Ball tipped around, but Grunder comes out with it. Ben in the lane, gets it to KJ, got to get out of there. Now over to Isaiah in the corner for another three. Shot up an air ball. Grummet. For the Generals, looking to take the lead. McLean, right side, Johnson, the lefty three. He shot up an air ball, and the ball comes loose into Isaiah Bauer's hands. And then a foul is going to be whistled on MacArthur, as Isaiah may have had a clean look at a layup. Well, but, uh, it, and you don't want Isaiah to, to start feeling comfortable from the three-point line, because he's a driver. I mean, he's, he's a guy that's an athlete. He gets to the basket. He's, he's made four threes tonight. Yes, I, I know that, but yet again, He's got to continue to drive the basketball. His his strong point is his athleticism, his quickness. One of the few guys uh, wearing the white jerseys tonight that can get by their guy and get to the lane. And uh, he, he's got to remember that he's he's got to keep going to the basket. Back door, eye off the hop, eye off the glass, and good. 33-30, to go. Hop now with six. Came in averaging about 13 and a half a game. McLean on the far side, three on the way, missed everything again, tracked down. Not they're going to say that uh, MacArthur, as they were trying to save it inbound, stepped on the baseline. So it goes back now to the Railers, 2.34 to go. Lincoln on top, 33-30. Well, we've hung with them. They've had a nice comeback. The Railers had a nice run there in the first quarter. MacArthur's done a good job of staying with it. Um, Isaiah, another three on the way. Missed it off the back rim. Yeah, I think Isaiah's got it now. Now he's got a shot fake and, and get to the basket. Use his strong points um, in his game. McLean from the right corner. That's off no good. Ball tipped around. K.J. Fry comes out with it for the Railers. Approaching the two-minute mark here in half number one. Garrett Isles on the right wing. Back on top to Grunder. And then traveling is going to be whistled on Garrett Isles. Again, uh, didn't see exactly see anything. I was kind of looking off to see what, what the other guys were going to do, but I didn't see uh, what had happened. Garrett was just near the timeline, and traveling was whistled. With no pressure. I mean, he was, ha he was holding the ball, written, and the, the Raiders were getting ready to set up an offense. And then a foul is going to be whistled on Aaron Hopp as he tried to tip it away from the Generals on the far side. For Hopp, that is his second, fourth team foul. 150 to go. Railers still on top, 33-30. Generals look to inbound. McLean gets it in the corner. They tip it out to Cook. Cook back on the baseline to Johnson. Goes off the glass, count it, and he is fouled again. And you know, Josh, I think for much of the second half down at Collinsville, that seemed like every trip down. Johnson gets a basket, and he's fouled. Yeah, and, and that was a, an odd play. The ball got tipped away. He, it, he got the ball back, and, and he see, again, he seems to find the ball around the basket. And if you're a railer, that's the guy you don't want to find the ball around the basket because he's excellent around the hoop. Uh, he'll take contact. He's not afraid to get to the foul line where he's been uh, several times already tonight. Makes it. And with that, we are tied at 33. And Josh, uh, in both games, the Railers have played against MacArthur this year. In each game, Johnson has been to the line 11 times. Minute and a half to go. Bowers back to Isles. Garrett dribbles through top of the key. Back to Isaiah. Isaiah from 17. Spun off, no good. McLean up to Brummett. Back to McLean, top of the key. Tries to drive by the defender. Thexton down in the corner. Baseline to Johnson. 
Flips it far side to Brummett, who throws it off the glass and good. That's Armand Brummett. And the Generals have made it all the way back to take a 35-33 lead with one minute to go. Isaiah dribbles around. He slips and falls and loses it. Back ahead, almost stolen, but Johnson's going to take it. Baseline kicks back out. McLean, top of the key, shot fake over in the corner. Thaxton, right side three. Back rim, no, Grunder high for the Railer rebound. Yeah, frantic paces definitely favors MacArthur. The Railers putting up a lot of shots, not marking the ball a lot on offense. Any type of uh, opening look, the Railers have taken it so far, and uh, we started out hot, been able to do that because we were shooting so well, but as you start to not shoot as well, uh, your, your shot selection's got to become a little bit better. 20 seconds to go. MacArthur 35, Lincoln 33, nearing the end of the first half. Grunder had it tipped away from behind. Ahead to Brummett. Brummett will go in for the layup. Down to seven seconds, 37-33. Grunder to three, to two, had it slotted away from behind. And this time a foul is called. 2.1 to go. Now on Brummett, his first Yeah, they did call that. The same thing happened to play before with where the Grunder, yeah. MacArthur got a layup. And then now, uh, now they decide to call it where there's no chance where MacArthur is going to get the uh, layup. 2.1 to go. They inbound to Hop. Hop dribbles through. And then a foul is going to be whistled. And an intentional foul is going to be whistled as Hop was going to split the defense. And the player for MacArthur just reached out. And it looked like it grabbed his short. Yeah, they just held on to his waist with both hands. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was Hop going to get a last second shot off. So Hop will get two shots on the intentional foul. 37-33, first free throw is good. And MacArthur's trying to leave. And I don't think they can leave the floor. But they can't leave the floor until the second technical is shot because the half isn't over yet. Well, now they've, get, they've given Hop one shot. He's already made one. And they've actually put 1.1 on and the And now they've, they've taken 30 seconds to 45 seconds in between free throws for Hop where it should be. You make one, bud, you're getting the ball back right away. You're getting another one. So now they've tried to put a little freeze game on Hoppy, and it worked. 37-34, but now with 1.1 left on the clock, Railers get a chance, and uh, with a catch and shoot, got a chance to uh, tie it if they can hit a long one. Yeah, yeah, we've got to find a way to maybe to get some sort of an easy basket here. Isles looking, looking, gets it to hop, fires it on the way, it's going to be way short. So uh, a disjointed end of the first half, Something different, which ends with the Railers trailing at half. At halftime, it's MacArthur, 37. Lincoln, 34. We'll be back with the uh, Brown Incorporated and Schneider Chiropractic Center halftime show in a moment. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. 